Hey everyone, my name is Anthony and I've been a corporate guide here at Northwest Registered Agent for about two years. Today we're going to be talking about domain extensions for your business website. We'll be talking about what a domain extension is, we'll be talking about the three different types of domain extensions, and lastly we'll be talking about five tips for choosing your domain extension. So now that we know what we're going to be talking about, let's take a look at the anatomy of a domain. So let's focus on the example northwestregisteredagent.com. So Northwest Registered Agent, this would be the label or the second level domain, and then the .com would actually be the extension or top level domain, which is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So a domain extension helps readers or computers know a website's category or type. So for example, .biz would indicate a commercial business, whereas .org would indicate a nonprofit organization. Let's talk about the three types of domain extensions. The first one we're gonna cover are generic top level domains. So these extensions are not restricted to industries or companies. They include .com, .co, .net, things like that. The next example we're gonna look at are country code top level domains. So these are extensions that are specific to certain countries or locations. They're great for targeting locals in that specific region. And then you actually do not need to be in that area to use this. So an example would be .uk for the United Kingdom. Lastly, let's look at sponsored top level domains. So these are only used by specific agencies or institutes. So for example, .gov would be used by government agencies. Domain registrars within this industry oversee or sponsor these domains. So now that we've talked about the three different types of domain extensions, let's talk about five tips for choosing a domain extension. Our first tip is when in doubt, use .com. .com is so common that many users see it as more of a trustworthy source than other extensions. However, due to its popularity, your chosen domain name with a .com extension may not be available or be more expensive, which leads us into our next tip of checking for availability. You'll want to check if your domain is available using a trusted domain checker like Whois Directory. If your desired domain name is taken, then try changing the extension. The next tip we're going to talk about is considering your brand. Your brand involves everything that sends a message about your business, so your domain extension can help communicate your brand as well. For example, an Italian restaurant might consider using .pizza. The next tip we have for you, location, location, location. As we said, country code top level domains are country and location specific. Businesses can use these to target certain areas and let visitors know where they are located and what areas they serve. The last tip we have for you today is make it memorable. While .com is the most common, there are others that entrepreneurs tend to favor such as .co, which is unique without losing connection to the .com. Also, bloggers, authors, and other creatives tend to use .me. So today we talked about domain extensions. We talked about what a domain extension is, we talked about the three different types of domain extensions, and then we left you with some tips for choosing your domain extension. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to our page. If there's a topic that you want to see covered, go ahead and throw it in the comments below. And remember, call Northwest when you want more.